Hello, and this is Kips, the combined effort of GPS and... Kip! That's yes. me. <laughs> we are now casting another wire play uh, game here on uh, this uh, really uh, in interesting map with only it one is. intelligence in the middle. Capture the flag, converge. Yes, with one intel. Yeah, so the whole objective with this map is to get the intel from the middle and then go and cap it inside the enemy uh, base at the man frame 3000. <laughs> the man frame. Is, Forgot is, about is the, the man whole frame. idea. And uh, last Which... time we captured it, it was pretty much a stalemate uh, all game long until the very end where Devilman just like went all hero mode and just capped it. So right now I'm well, watching... Well, you just ruined it. Yeah. And... But that's on my channel if you guys are interested. Yeah. And actually it looks like Jive has the intel right now. He's back at his own man frame, collecting the rest of his team to go in and make a good push, looks like, to get to the red. Yeah, because usually what you don't want to do on this map is to be close to your spawn where the capture is. Because you can be, get really unlucky and get killed and then the yeah, intel get, get captured like instantly. So here we have a little firefight going on in the middle here. Uber is popped on the red team. Let's see if they're able to do anything with this. Nope. Not able to do too much with this Uber. Only getting a couple of picks here. Nothing too major. Devilman and Spy is down though. And real quick we can go over the red team real quick. Um, Perkins is on Spy. Anti is Scout. Jolex is Soldier. Anubis is Medic. Subtle is Demo. Arg is Heavy. Thaif is NG. Rodver. Rodver is Pyro. And Spanish is Sniper. And that is Covenant of the Ark. Who, uh, I've uh, seen a lot on Kit TV. Looks like Blue Album of Uber has popped now in response to them. Nice work there by uh, Rob Deer, which is Norwegian for uh, like Predator. Uh, so that's okay. pretty cool. And uh, I guess uh, the Intel is back on the bridge, cap. is it? So there's a cap. It looks like. Uh, oh yeah, they, they, they captured. Able to... Yeah, they we're cap really good at this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. So all right. already, uh, Red Team taking the lead here. Uh, go over the uh, blue team's roster. Fury's on uh, Heavy, Simple's on Medic, VDTR, Umbrella is on Soldier, Mr. Cross on Spy, y Yoko on Pyro, Mike Zomor on Sniper, Jive on Scout, Drago Mix Mix on NG, and Death on Demo. So already we saw a capture and I completely missed that while we're doing the roster, so that's fine. So uh, let's see, who currently has the intel right now? Let's see. I'm actually very curious to see how that happened. Uh, I guess um, the firefight with the popped Uber on blue distracted from the intel. It looks like Anti, the scout for coming of the Ark, is just trying to maneuver his way through. Yeah, because what seems like uh, what happened, what probably happened is that they, they pushed, and while they were pushing, they ran into the enemy base. That's pretty much what happened. And interestingly, we see Drago, uh, the blue uh, engineer, setting up on mid instead with this mini sentry gun, his. And dispenser is back there as well, so if a scout can get past this mini sentry gun, he's probably in the clear to run into the yeah. opposite team base. And now so. they are passing the uh, intel onto the soldier, uh, which we see uh, is very good. Yeah, the soldier is jumping up here, and if there's no sentry on uh, the f on the man frame here, it's going to be uh, trouble not. for uh, for uh, AS right now. There's only a demo man defending. There's no way he can stop the soldier. Oh, he actually yeah, did. He actually the stopped the soldier. Oh. It's just so close on that demo. Starts to stick up the intel, but then he realizes, hey, I can just pick it up, which he yep. does, and then leaves it as his spawn door completely undefended for a little bit. You I can just see the timer is just so fast on that thing as well. You can't take the intel into spawn, I think. No, you can't. It drops out the door. It's the standard for oh, uh, other uh, capture the flag maps. Right. All right. Uh, one thing I want to go over real quick is this is multiplayer, and they have a couple of uh, bands. Uh, it's this pretty much standard stuff. It's like Enforcer, Thompson, Flagitionator, Spicicle, uh, Holiday Punch, Reserve Zooter, Attendant, Milkman, pretty much all the set hats. Uh, Bombinomicon, Jingle Belt, Booty Time, and the Fruit Shoot for some reason, because I guess they don't like hunger reduction in their game. It, that is OP. The Fruit Shoot is way OP. They need to nerf that immediately. Yeah. So right now it looks like uh, Blue's uh, going to drop the intel. Uh, engineer going all boss mode, taking it. Oh yeah, go NG. And it seems like this escort uh, attempt here really failed. They lost uh, both their heavy and their... Uh, Demo man, so that's gonna be tough. And uh, usually falling back with the intel is not always such a good idea on this map because you know the capture is just so much closer. So normally, if you want to die, you want to run towards them uh, to get away as far as possible. So we have the engineer dropping the intel here, the scout picking it up. Uh, let's see if he's able to do anything with this. 
And we have a very good uh, center here on red on defense. Pretty much standard. We saw both engineers do this uh, in the previous game. And pretty much a good spot covers most of the area. So here we have Jive on the intel. I guess they're looking for an opening where they can just run through. Because right now red is still has just so much presence on um, the middle of the map. It's going to be really tough to just run Blue has by a here. advantage and they do pop it. Uh, red is not going to have anything to counter with. Except uh, aggression because as you said they have pretty much the whole team on this midpoint. But they are falling back, it looks like, and as Blue's Uber wears off, Blue needs to push right here, because Red kind of gave them... Yeah, Red is just so many down, and they're just respawning right now, so they should just push while they, while they have the chance. Yeah. There's the Red Scout up, he goes down, and the Red Demo has to retreat, because he is very low on health. So, this is the time for Blue to push in. So I guess they're going to give it to the push. Scout again. Uh, I guess they're opting to have the Scout carry the intel instead of the Soldier. Uh, I like, I, I get the feeling that both teams are still like, what do I do uh, on this yeah. map? As it's very, very different from uh, standard uh, capture the flag. Here, here we go. Blue is pushing in. They have a sniper to deal with and some P to deal with. But they have their medic on them. Being pressured from the Scout on scout action on the side here. Blue will get the intel. Blue scout's really in the red. But he gets helped by his uh, pyro friend here. He's going to take down the teleporter. That's not really useful right now, but anyway. <laughs> So, Blue is still alive, Red Medic is and, still alive, uh, Blue's still Oh! Scout drops it though, Red Soldier picks it up, and then drops it. So, yeah, so Red Scout right will have none of that, picks it up, runs away. It's pretty much like hot potato. Yeah, pretty much. So, Red now is down, well, they just got some respawns. Ubers are pretty much even, but you know what? Looking at the Uber advantages, it doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference unless there's one team pushing into the last team's point. That's really when the Ubers matter, because right now it's almost it's very chaotic. And you see right there, Death just put down a bunch of stickies and defended the intelligence. Um, there's a blue blue demo man, and now he has the intel, so we'll see if he decides to pass it off or continue to run forward. Yeah. It looks like he is just running forward. There's a sniper here on the right side uh, holding down this uh, corridor, so they want to peek, don't want to peek up there. Apparently Medic is holding the intel, and keep in mind you can't pop the uber while you have the intel. The scout's gonna grab it again, here comes the uber pop okay. though. See if they can do something, they really need to get the sentry gun. Here comes the stickies. Wrangle is just so strong right now. Counter uh, uber yeah, is popped. Oh, and scout goes for the point! No! He, the crates were in the way. Oh. Neildar dropped it. Oh, that was so close. That was a very nice coordinated push. Too bad about those Imba broken crates there. Ruining yeah, the day for the scout. Uh, nice defense too by Arg and his Medic. So he managed to um, kill a bunch of blue players, so they're of course back at their spawn, and while this map isn't huge, it will take them a, a while to get back and um, take control of mid, which we're seeing, red is now taking control of mid, because blue had no presence there. Yeah, so I they really, are pushing forward. Yeah, I really like how they uh, give it to the soldier, and the soldiers are like jumping all crazy around to see if you can get any openings uh, where you can run through. Right now they have uh, all their power classes together here, whipping the heavy, and uh, just gonna go in and do a crazy amount of damage. As oh, but they're pressured by the pyro. Pyro goes down, though. Um, Anubis is really close. Well, he's got 40 health left. He needs to find something. There's a health pack right there, Anubis. There you go. All right. Oh, but some nice space sticky. Zuber's pop for red. Ooh. Looks like they're forced into that. Yeah, Anubis was very... Still no sentry, though. Oh, red's going to take this. Come on, soldier. Oh, he failed rocket jumps, but he jumps and runs over to them. Oh, there he goes. drops it really close to the oh. map. Oh, God, that was oh. so close. <laughs> oh, that one and fail jump cost them the cap. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I guess the soldier oh. must be so ashamed right now. Oh, don't rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you, but I, I got that. You know it was so. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, so now Blue is going to do the exact same thing that Red did after that uh, fail push. Take mid back. Yeah. Bring the intel up. Looks like they have the soldier now carrying it too. So maybe they uh, took a page out of. Covenant of the Arcs book. Yeah, it looks like they're understanding. Like both teams are understanding. You need the heavy medic and soldier together with an Uber in order to cap this. So, right. uh, Looks like they're going bottom because they yeah, know they're going bottom, but they don't have the intel with them. Where, where is the intel right now? Push is going on. They take that with the sentry. Oh, scout comes in though, and he runs past everything. Oh, oh. Is gonna get it. He gets the cap. Yes. It's currently one one. The intelligence. So it's now crazy. the uh, it's currently a cooldown on the middle right now for the for the intel. Five, four, three, two, yeah, it looks like there's a timer. And uh, blue sniper picks it up, but it takes a couple of rockets. Oh. And this is going to delay the soldier to getting the intel. Oh, scout and soldier are on the intel now. Oh, this is a nice counter, because keep in mind, all the blues are over at the red base. All that's Ooh. left is... Okay, the scout's not going to engage. That uh, was a uh, little respawn wave there by the medic and the pyro. Oh, he goes for it anyway! And just runs in and caps it, taking it up <gasps> oh, to 2 to 1. Wow. 
Very okay. ballsy, just completely sidestepping the action and fireplay and just yeah. runs for the Manframe 3000, which is, of course, what you're supposed to do. So, Red is up now, 2-1. to one. I think they're playing to five caps, which is pretty standard. Yeah. Um, I also, it also seems like Covenant of the Ark has uh, gotten a better grasp on how to do this, because they seem a lot more uh, coordinated now uh, compared to the other game. And that's good to see like people understanding like how this game works. Which is basically, from what we've seen, keep your power classes together and have a scout run in and cap it. Seems to be the best uh, idea after a good push. Absolutely. But one thing that's pretty dangerous, right now they, the blue team is going to put up a counter. They're just going to rush over here with their power classes. Uh, Demo's still down though, so it has, they have to do without that. Scout leading the pack though. It's going to be interesting to see. They also have the uber advantage, so uh, this should really go in their favor. Sending in the spy first to deal with eventual sentries. Or not even catching the spy. Oh, he tries to go for the stab on the spy, but he fails. Oh, no, I do not agree with that at all. He should just have gone for the sentry. Uh, doesn't really matter. Red team cleans everything up in the corridor and just gonna keep on uh, bringing the intel back to the enemy base again. They are being pressured by the spy, but no, P is down indeed. And I don't think we made it clear, but uh, the blue team is sudden aggression. I don't think we named them. But yeah, so it's sudden aggression versus Co Covenant of the Ark. Okay. It's good to know. Instead of AS. Yeah. I guess, they, I, guess, I guess they're like aggression sudden or something. I don't know. So it uh, looks like uh, Jolex is going to do a little bit of roundabout here. I'm going to try and hit him from uh, this corridor right here. Currently mirroring exactly what happened uh, with the blue team a few minutes ago. Um, so gonna taking go down the sniper and the spy, which would be. Interesting, they really need to get yeah, in here. Uber's popped though. Oh, field. sentry gun doesn't have wrangle anymore. Three stickies is all it takes. One sticky. Oh, it is on fire. It is not going down. Not going down. The intel is dropped and picked up by blue. So I think I'm having a bug here because when I see the, the blue team holding the intel, I see like red sometimes, like the red line, and vice versa on the other team. So I guess it's a bit buggy, but now it's blue for some reason. Hmm. All right, cool. Oh, that was a nice hold though by uh, sudden aggression. Yeah, now they have a full Uber going out to mid, and red is nowhere to be seen, so they're going to be able to push nicely into this. Depends on what strategy they decide to use. It looks like that corridor strat isn't quite working because they both expect it from each other. So I would suggest something else. Of course, this is my second time looking at this map, so I don't know. Uh, what are you seeing, GPS? This is also your second time, but have you picked up anything? Uh, well, like, the dominant thing is let the scout uh, run in and cap the intel and have your power class stick together and go in with a push seems to be the, the dominant strategy here. Uh, and uh, the Wrangle Sentry Gun is just so strong on this map. Mm -hmm. And even though, if even if you get the intel, there's no guarantee you'll actually win, because keep in mind the enemy can just pick up the intel, so let's say that your carrier gets killed and then like a soldier picks it up and he just jumps away and you like lose all momentum. So that's a big game changer right there. So you can go either way really fast. So right now it looks like uh, uh, Sudden Aggression is waiting for the soldier to join the group and he is, there he goes. And then we're gonna go together, heal him up and then they have the old power classes clumped together again. Probably gonna give the uh, intel to the scout. Yes, there we go. And then they're gonna go in again. Wow, you are psychic. So, and so, they also have an uber- oh, but they pop it way too early. Oh, yeah, I guess the medic was forced, uh, in a way, of I being afraid to well, drop it. Yeah. And the sentry is in a really good spot. I mean, the sentry is exactly where it needs to be right now, and it's just gonna be so hard. But, oh, the scout comes in, and he gets it! Oh, taking it up to 2-2, two, two, showing you how ex insanely good scouts are to cap here, even with a wrangled sentry gun, because, you know, you won't be able to kill the scout fast enough. Yeah, just if you have a- uh, unless you have an NG with incredible aims, Getting a scout jumping mid-air is just going to be so hard. So that was an excellent play there by... Yeah, I guess it worked like a distraction, but it kind of didn't work <laughs> like they planned, but it worked in their favor anyway. So we're just going to say that that was planned and excellently executed. Yes, so some great strategy going down here on Converge. Yeah. I'm actually hoping to see a lot more of this map in the future, as it's really, really uh, interesting. As yeah. See, it's not as uh, stale matey as it was uh, previously. It's good to see that players uh, grasp more how it works. Mm-hmm. We'll definitely probably see some more interesting strategy evolve as well as the teams adapt. Because just coming of the arc um, from the scrim we casted last time has just pulled out some very different um, strategy right here. Yeah. 
And I'm interested to see if there's any other maps that have the similar um, capture the flag um, setup where there's only one flag. Do you know of any? Uh, the only one I know, I don't, I don't recall it, but it's like you, you bring the, the intel to the capture point, kind of, like old oh, right. TFC it's... style. Like old Dust Bowl, yeah. kind of. Uh, but I've never seen any map that has like uh, has it like this. But I guess for new players, this will be pretty hard to grasp because all of the maps you're used to capping the intel at your base. Um, here comes the Ubers. Both popped. Red popped first, and blue countered with a uh, lovely pop on the pyro, and they managed to blow people back. Uh, red back through that corridor, which is becoming oh very heavy on heavy action here. Oh. Heavy blue Ooh. heavy is going to back out because you know gloves are running urgently. He's not good against the spun nope. up minigun. But he found his medic, and that'll help him a lot. Yeah, now they have the high ground advantage too, so uh, they'll be able to hold pretty good here. But as a sniper there, you got to be really careful about that sniper. Takes a body shot, and uh, it's going to back out out of there. So currently, uh, red team's holding the intel, giving the soldier again. So I guess he's going to go and peek down here. And sentry is not on the... It's on the high ground, not on the low ground. So it's a bit further away. So I, I think they're actually going to try and uh, cap this. So there's not too much... Uh, defense here, but oh nice pyro uh, placement right there. This pyro is going to be able to compression blast anyone that tries to jump in and and he's not going to do that, he's running up to the dispenser and probably get some more ammo. Yeah, there he goes down again. So blue also has the uber and they're pushing in, they know exactly where red is. But they are, oh they actually was, fell back. Yeah, right now I guess uh, they're just, I guess red will, will wait for their scout to come. Oh, oh but here they're... we go, here's blue, pops first, forces red to pop, which is a good idea because then now red won't have it to defeat the sentry, but red is still trying to push in, although their medic and heavy are the only ones left right now. And they both go down, so another good defense by blue right there. The intel is dropped somewhere, I'm still not sure. Yes, there we go, Yoko. Y Yoko has it. What, what was that? Yo no, he has it like he has a big letter, so you have to like... Like a capital letter, so you have to say the oh, O louder. Okay, yo okay. Or yo okay. Yeah, okay. Anyway, the, the, the pyro for the blue team has it. He's taken on a. He's having a little bit of trouble here with the spy, but yeah. he does manage to take him down. Keep my flamethrower is really good against spy, uh, by his lips, to, to just continue using those. And it seems like that is a bit undecisive. Yeah, he's gonna give it to the scout, and then the scout's gonna regroup with something? Yeah. Yeah, Scout's gonna regroup with the par classes. Here we go. Uh, Blue's gonna go with yeah all their power classes together and their Scout. And uh, Mike Zomar takes down Yolex, so no soldier for red for at least another 10 seconds. Let's pick there. So I guess they're just waiting for for the Uber. Uh, red team currently has the Uber advantage slightly. It's not gonna matter too much. So I'm just gonna try and see what uh, Red is up to, because you know you can see where the intel's at. So they have pretty much an idea if he's gonna run out. So they're actually holding forward quite well, but on the far left side there's like nothing. So they could actually run around and go all ninja like. <laughs> so right now it's just a moment of uh, both teams just holding Ubers, and they're both tied. So I guess they're waiting for the other team to do something. Both teams are doing that. We could be here a while, but uh, unfortunately we only have 11 minutes 30 seconds left in the map, so it will end eventually. Looks like Red is kind of showing some aggression. Oh, here comes the uh, Red Heavy. He's going to go out here and try and get some kills, but oh, he's going to back out. And oh, nice stab there by uh, by Mr. Cross. Mr. Cross. And now, yeah, they just waited for the yeah. important pick, and they take out the medic as well, so you're going to be see uh, Blue showing a lot of aggression here. Uh, they don't have the soldier with them, but they're just going to keep pushing. They also have the intel and scout with them, so they can just, you know, leave their base undefended by now. Uh, for now, because, you know, they have the intel. That's all that matters. Yeah, and Red is retreating like crazy. Not a whole lot of uh, resistance up here in mid. There is the soldier trying to go big, but he is very hurt. That's Jolex, and he does manage to escape. So Blue is just pushing the whole team forward right here. They still have that Uber. Medic's got a careful though, he is running around like crazy, trying not to get stabbed or sniped. I don't see a sniper around here, but yo, here comes Jolex from behind, but he gets spotted out and taken down by Umbrella. And Scout actually, Scout Jive takes out Fat Man Arg. <laughs> and uh, they're looking pretty strong now. They also have the Uber, so I would not be surprised to see a cap here, but oh, there's a lot of red presence on the point here, especially a Pyro. Oh, that's going to be so good right now, just compression blasting them back. Oh, he's yeah. going to back and out there. He's really in the red. And where's the, the scout? Is it, or here comes the ninja scout. 
And he's not able to pull it off. No. Sticky traps. Get some. Those crates, man. Those crates. Yeah, it's tricky. Yep. And he also had the pyro right there, so he would have been blasted away had he gotten over those crates. So a great defense there by Red coming in the arc is um, figuring out, well, uh, kind of mirroring the same kind of defense that a Blue has. Or did Blue have it first? Uh, blue had it first, but now Red has it. Spy tries to do some funky business, but keep in mind, uh, you actually make sound when you decloak. So Pyro caught him. The devil Pyro burned him to a crisp, so... I'm seeing here if Red is able to push over here. Currently, the Pyro is holding the intel. Uh, wait, probably waiting for the demo man as he's up pretty soon, and Soldier is down as well. While uh, Blue has all their uh, power classes up right now, so they're just gonna push forward and see if they can snatch this intel. That's what I'm guessing they're gonna do. Because it doesn't yeah. seem like holding mid is that important, uh, especially on this map. Crazy, because that goes against every principle you've learned in TF2. Here we have both Ubers popped. Um, flash between the heavies and the pyros. Uh, red heavy goes down. Blue, it looks like. The blue heavy is also down. down so no fat map for either team. But uh, red is usually losing oh. a lot of more players right here. Blue's looking really strong now. They really have the numbers. They should just run in and do this if they can. It's only an engineer and a medic defending this. The medic has the, the intel right now, though, so they need to pass that off. A sentry is gotten picked up, and this is the motor opportunity. Oh, it's sapped as well, and medic's just gonna go it. for it. And uh, this is gonna be captured. Yes, taken up to 3 yes, 2. Indeed. In favor of, uh, of the blue. Sudden team. aggression. Yeah, sudden aggression. I was almost gonna say sudden attack, but that's a gaming career. And the map's. It's not over because the countdown is actually to when you can grab the intel. So I thought that was almost yep. over. Yes, nope, there you go. And here's a counter moves. though coming on by uh, Blue Team. The scout's just running in. Uh, and there's a sentry here. I'm not. Oh wait, wait. Never mind. This is the blue base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So not sure what Blue is thinking there. Uh, okay. So. Okay, good. Normally you don't want to, you know, bring the intel closer to your base, but I guess the scout's just waiting for something, following the scout. He seems a bit indecisive of where he wants to go. It's like I follow him and then he's like, nope, gotta go this way. Let's see. But yeah, it's just very interesting about how mid does not matter here at all. All that matters is pretty much escorting uh, the intel yeah. into the enemy base. It seems to be Alpha Omega uh, and just deciding where you want to go. Because you, you have like uh, pretty much three different options where you can go. You can go bridge or on the side of the bridge. Pretty much have three options all the way. So if one team is like holding down two two doors, you can just go uh, all the way on the third one. Uh, and just send everybody there as long as you have the intel. Popped uh, Uber here for a blue team and red they team. They do lose their heavy though. Our goes down. So it's just... I'm trying to figure out where the intel is, but my intel counter is showing it wrong. Who oh, Anubis goes down too by Fury and Simple. So Blue is making their push right here. A lot of players down from Red, so they may be able to get some good ground in here. Depends on what kind of defensive setup they have. Looks like a Sentry Gun is in a new spot right now. It is right in front of the man frame, which is a good idea. That will um, stop any scout from jumping in. Hopefully is what they're thinking. Yeah, they decided that they won't have any more caps, so they just put the sentry on the dispenser in front of the man freight. Uh, pretty good uh, hey. place there, but keep in mind it's not to Like, keep in mind a sentry's aim is better than your aim, so leaving it unwrangled is actually the better option here, unless uh, you want to, you know... You should use the wrangler if you don't want it to die, pretty much, in this situation. Now, here comes the uber pops. Right. He's gonna be fixing his uh, sentry gun. A couple of rollers come in, though. He'll be able to defend, uh, keep it alive without wrangling it, so that's a very good job right there. By Faith, uh, although Red lo does lose a lot of players, but Blue loses even more, and their heavy is super, super hurt. Anubis now has the Uber, so this would be the time to press forward with whatever scraggle. Uh, keep, keep in mind, I, I think you can pop the crits while you have uh, the intel. You can just not pop oh. the Uber. So they're actually running crits now, which is very, very interesting. It's not going to be very effective against the sentry gun, but it will be good at absolutely everything else. So let's see. If, oh no, spies oh, on the medic though. Keep going with the pistol, leaving uh, the medic really in the red, but uh, he'll be fine. It's almost at half health, no problem. So now we have a mid fight going on. Yeah. Got some presence by both those colors here. Actually, it looks like it's just the blue scout, so um, he's a little, uh, little outmatched, but he managed to take down Spanish, the sniper, which will, is always helpful. 
but eventually uh, Jive does go down to a rocket from Jolex. Meanwhile, Red is still pushing in with this 100% crits. We'll see what they can do with it. What kind of setup does Blue have? They have the sentry on the high ground still. It's pretty uh -huh. far from where they want to go. So if they can get like lob a crit sticky all the way up there and kill the engineer, that will be huge. So here comes the crits though. Will they be able to lob anything? Nope. The old man goes down. Uh, it switched over to the heavy. Sap on the sentry gun though. Here comes Pyro with crits and he just flies oh. up in the air and so close to the mad frame. Always being blown all over the place. And here's the thing, like even if you're so close the and you drop it, the enemy team's just gonna pick it up and uh, run back into your base with it. So yeah. Well, let's. Oh, this guy couldn't do anything. Nope. Anti goes down, and so now it's Blue's turn to push. Yeah, it's like a pretty much turntable, like a coin flip, whoever's in charge here. Uh, but Blue has, you know, the one point advantage. They're up three, so they're looking pretty strong now. Getting yeah, about four minutes scout. left. So let's see if they can do anything with this. Now, Anubis did go down, so I'm wondering if he changed to regular medigun or if he's still doing the crits. Yeah, he's uh, changed to regular, so they did not like that crit strategy, which I probably would agree with there. It was an interesting yeah. try. It was a good try, but uh, definitely didn't do much. It seems like the most important thing is to, to kill the, the pyro and the uh, sentry gun, because that seems to be like the biggest blockers of successful pushes here, on, at least on this map. Uh, doing that with, with an uber and hopefully not having a counter uber popped is uh, probably very beneficial. Probably. <laughs> so, I guess they're just waiting for their soldier to come, as usual. Uh, having all the power classes together once again. Seems mm. to be what uh, Blue's doing for the most part. There's the red spy though, Perkins. See if he can do something. And, oh, he gets caught off. Uh, Blue uber is popped extremely early though, I'm not sure how they were pressured into that, but they do not have that uber going into the last point here now. I guess I'm just going to do a soft push here, but the, keep in mind, the red sentry is on the point, though. Hard to and deal with that. And it's being wrangled right now, so yeah. even if you do get some stickies, that takes a billion of them to take it down. So, blue's being pushed way back by red. Red uber is popped. Manages to take down the soldiers. Only three up right now for blue. Of nice course, they will there get by Mike's or taking out the, the dome and carrying the intel, so that's going to slow down uh, red's put, push quite a bit, so nice pick there. Oh, I haven't really been able to see snipers going huge on this map yet. <laughs> I'm okay with that. You're probably not, though. No, <laughs> Alright, so here comes the red push. The gun is in the same position as before. Um, red Spy knows it, though, and he was able to get a successful sap on it earlier, but no, he goes down, Perkins. Yeah, the center is down, but blue team has the, uh, has the intel, though, and the push. Yeah, you got the wow. sentry, but you lost everything else. So, mm. kind of like a kamikaze push right there. Yeah. And the engineer is going to be up in nine seconds, and uh, Blue's holding the intel, so they are just controlling the game right now. Right, they're probably just running out the clock. Yeah, I've seen that after, after they got their one point lead, they've been playing a lot more uh, defensively. They just really, mm. really don't want uh, uh, want to come out of the arc to get that uh, additional point. So let's be giving it to the scout again. But they're pushing now. They do have that Uber. Yeah, scouts chilling out in the back, which is pretty unusual because usually scouts in the in the front. More or less. So we have a fight on the middle point here. Uber is popped for blue. The red doesn't even have the Uber, so they're pretty screwed. Uh, Medic gets out of there though. Oh no, it doesn't. It gets no. taken out by bullets. Anubis goes down. Uh, so blue is making this push here with no intel. It's, oh no, here comes a scout. Yeah, yeah. He's a Should little late. Oh, the soldier tries to jump him though, but uh, Pyro will have none of that. Uh, well, yeah, they're gonna push down the uh, far uh, left side or right side, depending on which angle you look at look at it from. Keep my sentry on the point, though. Pyro and sentry is pretty good defense. What Looks happened like there? They lost their heavy. Our came in from behind to get some nice flanking action on that push, but it, one minute left. There's no way that uh, Red's gonna be able to cap this. They don't have uh, an Uber. They may be able to get it up fast, but Blue right now has control over mid, and they just popped an Uber. Jumping so Pyros good. and jumping Soldiers trying to get the Scout. Can't really do it. The scout's just like, nope, I'm gonna run into my base. Yeah. Keep in mind, that's what the uh, the uh, enemy wants, but I guess he's just gonna run out and chill at the sentry gun on the dispenser. Yeah. yeah that's what, what he gun does. He's gonna chill here, being pretty safe. Uh, not a lot the enemy can do about that. Nope, not a bad idea. So it looks like uh, 15 seconds left. Blue's gonna take this. 
Seriously. Indeed, there's some last minute pushes coming in. Jerlux tries to take down the sentry, but he cannot, especially when there's, you know, the entire team right there. Here comes another final push by Red, but they, um, pretty much suicide. So that's it. Uh, sudden aggression wins. Red's done. Uh, very interesting uh, game mode here. Uh, capture flag on Covenant. Interesting. Is that what yeah, the map's called? So. Covenant? No, that's that's the that's team of the name of the team, Covenant yeah. of the Ark. Covenant of the Ark on Converge. Converge, um, yes, con, a lot of cons. Cool, yes. alright. Thank you so much. We are Kips. Let's keep, keep and GPS together, because we're so clever. Yes, indeed. So thanks for having me on your stream, and keep watching, guys. See you later.